Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Precious Ugweze. Um, in this video, it's going to be a continuation of what we have seen under exponential equations. And in this case, we are going to, you know, particularly consider those types of exponential equations where we cannot write the uh, the both sides of the equation in the same base. You remember that we would need to write the equations, for example, when you have an exponential equation, say 2 raised to the power x is equal to, say, 16. At this point, they don't have the same base, but it is possible to actually change 16 to a base of 2. And so what if we have a case where we cannot really do that? What do we do? And so these kind of examples are what we want to look at the first three that or the three examples that we have here are going to help us consider how to handle such problems. All right. So meanwhile, remember, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please kindly do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go. Um, solution. So for the first one, we have 10 raised to the power 5 minus x is equal to 8. And here now I have... 10 on this side as the base, and here I have 8, which is uh, 8 raised to the power 1. How do we handle this? It is not possible to write this to be in base 10. It is not possible to write the both of them to be in any day, any common base. Okay, so to be able to solve this kind of problems, you would have to involve logarithm. And so when you take the logarithm of both sides, it gives you the opportunity to be able to resolve this problem problem and you know get the solution and you remember that in one of the laws of um, logarithm we saw that if you have the logarithm of a number say m raised to the power of x that you can actually write this to become x times log m the, and so it is this law that allows us you know to say okay if i can take the log of both sides it would help me to bring down this exponent and be able to solve for x. And so we're going to take the log of both sides. If we do that, we'll have the log of 10 raised to the power 5 minus x equal to the log of 8. And you have not really changed anything because you did the log on the both sides. And so if we now apply the rule I just removed down, we are going to then get 5 minus x into the bracket of log 10 and that is equal to the log of 8 and that allows us to get this and at this point I was saying that you remember that this is a common logarithm and if it's a common logarithm it means that the base is 10 and so if the base of this is 10 it simply means that you have log 10 base 10 which is actually equal to 1 and so that's going to give us that we are now left with just 5 minus x on the left hand side and that is equal to the log of 8. And so if we make x the subject of the formula by taking log to this side and taking this, you will see that our x is simply equal to 5 minus the log of 8. And that is the solution to this number 1. Okay, so we'll quickly go to the next example. Okay, so here we have 2 raised to the power 4y plus 1 minus 3 raised to the power y is equal to 0. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we get a right and a left hand side. So we take this to the other side. And if we do that, we are going to get this is equal to this coming to this side becomes three positive 3 raised to the power y. And so now there's no how we can write 2 and 3 to be in the same basis. And so you see that the thing we did here would also apply here. So we take the log of both sides. And if we do that, we'll have the log of 2 raised to the power 4 plus y equal to the log of 3 raised to the power y. And that same rule of logarithm is going to help us take this down and this other one. And that's going to become 4y plus 1 into the bracket of log 2 equal to this one coming down will become, sorry, will become y log 3. And haven't gotten that, what do we do next? So um, at this point, remember our interest is to solve for y. So we open up this bracket, and if we do that, we'll get 4y log 2. Then that means log 2 is multiplying the bracket, and then it will also multiply y to give, sorry, multiply 1 to give you log 2. And that is equal to y log 3. So at this point, I have this containing y, and this also containing y. This one is the only one without y, so I'll collect like terms. I'll take this to the other side, and so I'm going to have 4y log 2. This one coming here will become minus y 
log 3 equal to this going to this side becomes minus log 2. And so here you can see that I have y here and there is y also here. So I can bring out y by factorization. And when I do that, I will have 4 log 2 minus log 3. And this is equal to minus the log of 2. And so at this point, what should we do next? We divide both sides by this coefficient and that will give us the value of y. So that will immediately give us the value of y as y equal to minus the log of 2 all over 4 log 2 minus log 3. And of course, this is the solution that we are required to, to get. Okay, so what about the next example? Here we have the third one. It says that exponential 2x is equal to everything to the other side. If you do that, you'll have the exponent of x all squared. This one coming here becomes minus exponent of x minus 6 is equal to 0. And so you can see a common term here, exponent of x. So we're going to replace it because this actually is going to take us to a quadratic equation. And that's going to give us, so let our exponent of x be called a name. We can call it y in this case. And if we do that, <clears throat> we're going to get y squared here minus y minus 6 is equal to 0. And so we're going to solve this quadratically. So if we solve this quadratically, we're going to be looking for the factors here. You have minus 1 and minus 6. That is of minus 6. So we're looking for two factors of minus 6 that will give us minus 1. And that's going to be minus 3 and 2. Okay, so that's going to be, uh, remember what I said, open your two brackets and just put in the two factors. So you have minus 3 and then you have plus, sorry, plus 2. You have plus 2. Everything is 0. Therefore, our y is equal to 3 or minus 2. Now, come back to the equation. Remember, this is where you substituted for your exponential x. And if we did that substitution, remember, we are looking for x. And so we are going to bring back these values to this place. And to bring it back, what are we going to do? That means that our exponential x is going to be equal to y which is 3. Of course, your y cannot be negative because the exponent of x cannot be negative. And so that means we are going to rule out this. We are not going to make use of that. So our y is going to be only equal to 3. And so we need to now solve this equation to be able to get the value of x. And that is where what we have been doing will now come into play because the only way we can actually get our x is to take the log of both sides. And if we do that, we are going to have the log of of e x equal to the log of 3 and that's going to give us x log e is equal to you know our log 3 which is going to give us that x alone is equal to the log of 3 all over the log of e and that is our solution right so that is where we are going to end this video now so when you have problems involving exponential equations where you cannot reduce the both sides to give you the equal basis um, uh, so that you can simplify you can check the use of logarithm to be able to solve that um, and so we'll end this video here we'll see you in our next class please subscribe like share and comment in our videos thank you very much